since the 1st of September however while you're watching this video even though I'm filming this nearly at the end of September I'm filming it ahead of time so it goes live while I am on holiday but it feels like the autumn it's getting pretty cold in the mornings the evenings are getting darker a lot earlier I'm finding I'm finding myself either in cardigans or under blankets a lot more regular than usual this is my favorite time of year and I couldn't be more happy and without further ado I'm going to crack straight on with today's video it is my autumn winter equestrian essentials haul now before I begin this video, you will find all of the items I have featured in the description box down below. This is not a sponsored video, however, doing what I do, being an equestrian influencer, model, content creator, whatever it is you want to call me, I do obviously receive a lot of equestrian items, meaning that I get to test and trial everything, and today I've picked the best of the best to feature in this video, and everything in today's haul, via my complete honest opinion, because I would not give you honest opinions, and these are all of my favourite products, these products today are 100% what I feel are completely worth the price tag and the money spent on them. Another note before I start is that every item today is not a matchy-matchy or trendy colour. Classic and timeless colours, so expect blacks and navies. Because again, being horsey girls or boys, we know how expensive this sport is. Especially with the winter coming up, feed bills are going up, the hay nets are being filled up a lot more. Winter rugs are coming up again and they're a lot more expensive than summer rugs. And I really wanted to create a haul that's open, it's honest, and it's inclusive to everybody. So yes, price tags may vary within this video, however, even though I've said it a hundred times already, everything in this video I personally feel is worth your money and there is nothing in this video that I have put in as a wild card. This is something that I would go out and buy again and again. Everything's been tried and tested and worn and weared and Word isn't a word, but you know what I mean. So without further ado, I'm going to start today's video. So grab a cup of tea, get cosy, and let's begin. So I am going to start with maybe everybody's favourite brand, and that of course is Lemire. And of course I'm starting with a saddle pad. However, I'm not going with a matchy-matchy or trendy colour. I am going with the navy suede pad. Now I'm 70% a Loire girl to 30% a suede girl. However, I've chosen navy suede for today's video because the suede is so much more practical. Yes, the Loire is a little bit more glamorous, which is why it's my personal favourite. However, the suede washes incredibly well. You have so much more room in the washing machine as well. They come up like new every single time and it's just a pad that gets on with every horse. Also in the suede pads they do offer different support systems as well. There's an X grip which has extra padding with like a sticky grip system on the front as well and double sided too. So if your horse does need that extra bit of cushioning or support then you can absolutely find this with the suede pad. As I say I've gone for navy because it's such a classic and timeless colour. It's a professional colour. You're always going to look smart in navy. It's a colour that goes with every single horse. It goes the same with black as well. When picking which colour to go for in today's video, I did think navy because I am slightly more of a navy but that's just personal preference and I know personally how hard it is sometimes to keep up with trends and keep up with matchy matchy sets, they add up incredibly quickly and if you are in the market for a new pad I fully recommend going for either black or navy because it's timeless classic, it never fades in style, the suede from Lemire is always 100% always washable and looks brand new year upon year and they're a great pad to invest in. So don't fear, I do have thick and waterproof coats in this haul. However first I'm going with, with maybe my new favourite jacket of all time. I found this by chance on the Lemire website, this is part of the new Twilight collection and, and as I say all of the links will be in the description box down below. This jacket is beautiful, not only is it a beautiful jacket, and the reason why it is in this autumn winter haul is because it's the perfect layering piece. We all know as horse riders, when you first get on the winter it's freezing, this is if you're schooling, and after 10-15 minutes after warming up we do tend to get hot. We want to strip, we want to take off that big winter layer, but still not get cold, especially after you finish riding and you're doing your cool down, you still want something that's going to keep your muscles that little bit warmer. This jacket enters the chat. <laughs> the name of this jacket escapes me, but as I said the link is in the description box down below. Um, I think it's maybe called the Marsweli? 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 I don't know. I won't. I'm probably saying that completely wrong. I probably have the complete wrong name. I'll leave it on the screen and it's in the description box. Let's just appreciate the back of it for a second. The sparkle. Can we see that in the sun slightly? I'm hoping that's picking up. 
It's stunning. There is also a flap at the back here with the mesh panel detail at the end with which opens up as well. This obviously is just going to increase airflow and keep you nice and cool. It's kind of like a cut out jacket but once all the flaps are down on the jacket, flaps is the right word to use here isn't it? But obviously when the material flaps go back over the top of them, you can't see that there is cut out areas on this jacket. It doesn't end up looking like you have a hole in your jacket for instance. However, it's just going to increase airflow. And again, as I say, once you start to warm up, sometimes you do want some way to like, you know, release air as you're riding around. And again, a practical jacket, and the same with everything in this hall, perfect colors to see you year round. Even with the thicker waterproof jackets that are coming up, we had a really cold spring this year. I was wearing these jackets late into the year this year. Literally in May, I was wearing my big waterproof that's just coming up a little later. But after five or 10 minutes, I was dropping down into thinner jackets and base layers. And this is the perfect jacket that looks incredible over the top of a base layer as well. It's flattering, it's structured, it has really good sized pockets. I love the contour trim on this jacket. Honestly, it just makes it look so flattering. The, probably the best way that I could describe this is it's very similar to the Lululemon jacket that went viral on TikTok. It fits the same, but obviously has more of an equestrian form and fit to it, especially with the mesh panel detail at the back. Next, we have the waterproof Lumia breeches in navy. Now everybody just needs to take a minute for these waterproof breeches because when they arrived, obviously I knew they were going to be waterproof and I knew they were going to do the practical job that I need a waterproof breech to do. When I put these on, let me tell you, I was shocked. These think are around £100, okay, so they're not the cheapest thing in the world. These wash impeccably, they are 100% waterproof, tried and tested. Guys, these are fleecy lined. These are fleecy lined. They feel like joggers inside. In fact, I'm going to show you. This, I hope this is picking up. They're fleecy lined. <laughs> I know I've said that a hundred times. The shock. A lot of waterproof material is kind of scratchy, it's not very comfortable, and it's the kind of material you actually dread putting on, even more so taking off. Like, it's fine once you're used to it, it's fine once you're on, it's fine once you're, once you're soaked. And you know when you're like stripping to get into the shower or into the bath and get all of your, get all of your dirty, horsey, wet clothes off? It feels horrible, doesn't it? Let's admit, like, the scratchy, like, oh, it's, it's not the nicest. Game changing. Game changing. There's also great pockets in here, as we can see, my hand and the majority, and just above my wrist has disappeared as well, meaning your phone is going to fit in here perfectly. The full seat grip as well, a really, really great seat. I have ridden in these, and in the rain, I was dry, <laughs> my legs were dry, and I stayed in the saddle perfectly. It didn't mess with my position at all. These are an essential. Now, everything in this haul is essential. These are essential, essential. <laughs> now moving on to some equestrian loungewear. And obviously with loungewear, it, it doesn't just have to be loungewear, if that makes sense. It makes sense in my head. The Elite tracksuit set in navy from Lemire, I have personally bought for my competition days. Obviously for lounging around in at home as well. However, competition wipes. Ringo, my horse, always filthy dirty. Even if he's been bought bath the night before, he just he's like a magnet for dust. So even if he's been covered from head to toe as well, he's still going to be dirty or he's going to get covered in hay by the time we get to the show. And for as long as I possibly can, I want to stay clean. I want my whites to stay white. I also want to be warm. I want to be comfortable. And I still want to look smart. And that's the best thing I think about this day and age is we can look smart and we can look glamorous in the equestrian industry, of which that wasn't something that was really offered when I was a lot younger. And it's something that I do feel like we need to take full advantage of and appreciate brands such as Lemire for bringing practicality and glamour into the equestrian industry. So bring in the Elite tracksuit set. These are the perfect cover for my competition whites on show days. When I'm not showing or competing or doing dress or whatever it is that I'm doing, you're doing, we can chill in them at home. They have, they have a multi-purpose year. They're so comfortable. The Lemieux logo running down the leg is glittery. Can we, can we see this? I just, I love a little bit of glitter. I love a little bit of glam. They're drawstring wasted and the drawstring works. Nothing worse than drawstrings that don't work. So whether you're like me and you have thicker thighs and a smaller waist, everything fits perfectly in proportion, perfectly because you can adjust the waistband or, example A, <laughs> you arrive at the show, you haven't had time for breakfast, so, you know, it does up a little bit tighter, doesn't it? By the end of the show, you've had cheesy chips, you've had a few coffees, one was waiting for your dressage test sheet, so you're either undone or a lot looser on the way home. <laughs> and with the matching hoodie as well, this is also a really great hoodie to ride in as well. A lot of people like myself actually do really like to wear jumpers or hoodies while training in the winter as well, to add a little bit of warmth. There's a really great kangaroo pocket at the front. Obviously the Lemire logo and the centre here, I'm not sure if you can see that, but that is how lovely and discreet it is that only in certain lights you can see that there is a logo on the front. So if you're not into heavily branded things but you just want to look smart and professional, this is a fantastic hoodie. Next on to some competition items from Lemire. So starting with the competition shirt, 
I actually modelled this last summer and I couldn't, last summer? Yeah, last summer, and I could not wait for this to be released. I finally have my hands on it all this time later, and it will be my first competition in it on Saturday this week. But obviously because I spent half a day in it modelling it, I know how amazing this is fit-wise. I'm going to pop a picture, and I'll pop a picture up as well here from when I did model it. I was at Forest Oaks last year. This is stunning. It also comes in white and it also comes in short sleeve as well. I personally love the navy and the white contrasted. I just think navy is my favourite, especially contrasting with the especially contrasting with the white as well. Breaks in the fabric. That again is to increase airflow, keep your look cooler while you are riding. And again, there's also air vents. That's what I'm going to call them, air vents. There's also the air vents at the back as well, to also allow some air and get some air flowing on your back as well. We don't want sweaty backs and we don't want sweaty arms. <laughs> But I can vouch for these, and I'm so excited to compete in this this winter. And part of the Lemieux Elite range, again, this is the competition jumper. I think it's called the competition jumper. If it isn't called the competition jumper, then the purpose I'm using it for, and the purpose I'm going to be talking about it for, is as a competition jumper. I'm pretty sure this has, oh here we go, yes, yeah, so 90% cotton and 10% cashmere, hence why it's so soft. The material on this is gorgeous. My purpose for this, as I've said, being a competition shirt, is when it is freezing. I am talking like five degrees and under, we're competing, we're cold. Competition jackets, they just don't cut it, do they? <laughs> you want an extra layer, but you need something thin that's not going to make you look bulky. So in comes this item. This is going to be my saviour this winter when I'm competing. It is the perfect thickness to not make me look bulky or make me feel bulky. Actually, sometimes it's not even about what you look like. It's about how you feel. There is nothing worse than feeling bulky, is there, realistically. That is the only downside to the winter. And that's, again, why I've really tried with these items to include thin layers as opposed to bulky layers. Because for me personally, I hate feeling like I'm trapped in clothing. There is nothing worse. Which is why every item in today's haul is a personal favourite as opposed to, like, a broad spectrum favourite because it's just how I like to feel and it's just items that I've personally picked out for the haul. So this is just, as I said, going to be my absolute best friend. I recommend everybody that competes to get a jumper like this, whether it's this one, whether it's a different one that you found from a different brand. Having a thin jumper is going to be a saviour. It feels lovely, it looks lovely on. I fully recommend it. It's from the Lemieux Elite Collection and the link is in the description box. So, the last item from Lemire before we move on to some different brands is the Vector Stirrups. Now, I've gone for mine in the black, is in completely black. There's, there's different options, black and silver. I think there may be brown and silver. I can't remember. I've just gone for the plain gloss black, and these are beautiful. So, if I undo the box, we can see what they come in. Also, an amazing gift that comes displayed in this lovely box. Can we see? <laughs> it's a nice position with my arm here. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> These are the stirrups. So let me get them out and just show you. We've taken them back from the yard to put them back in this box just so you can see how lovely they, lovely, lovely, <laughs> how well they're presented. So these are advertised as superior stirrup innovations from Lemieux. If I bring one up nice, ow. And if I bring one up nice and close to you, we can see the, we can see it up close. There's obviously spikes here. And I'm going to run you through all of, and I'm going to run you through all of the benefits. Number one being how easy and quick this is to release, if needed, in an accident or emergency. I'm actually going to read the back of the box so I don't get any of my information wrong. <laughs> so the offset apex offers 45 degree orientation for easy foot access. A spring-loaded safety arm offers unrestricted exit space as we can see here. There's a high grip cross track foot plate with hardened steel pins. Twin balance arch system distributes why is that such a tongue twister? Which distribute, oh my goodness, which distributes weight evenly across the base of the stirrup frame. There's also a cushion lemma, <laughs> why can't I speak? There's also a cushion layer of dynamic polymer in here, in here as well. And there's also an integrated low level locking point, a two stage release. So this isn't going to open if you don't want it to. So this is like stage one. However, obviously, if you were to hit this with a bit more impact or if you need, if, or if you absolutely need to be released from the stirrups, with a tiny amount more of force, this opens up. Obviously, it's perfect and, as we can see, opens a really good amount to be able to get your whole foot out. I've seen these for a little while now. And when I say a little while, I mean about a week, maybe a little bit over a week. I found them incredibly easy to use. Obviously, as well, luckily, touch wood, I haven't had any accidents or any reason for me for me to have to escape from my stirrups. And if you are looking for new stirrups this winter, of which stirrup safety is potentially the most important part when you come to ride, I've only just left safety stirrups at the at the ripe old age of 24. These are my first 
first stirrups since using safety stirrups and if you don't know what safety stirrups are they're basically the stirrups with the elastic here instead of like a system like this yeah slightly less of a clothing essential however a complete essential when it comes to safety and obviously as well I put them in the autumn winter haul because horses <laughs> usually anyway are a lot have a lot more of a higher chance of being frisky in the windy autumn winter weather moving on now to the biggest essential in this haul I know I'm talking a bit more loud now this is a point I have to get across. These are also jackets that sell out incredibly fast. So if you are wanting them on your wish, wanting them on your Christmas list this year, advise asking quite a way in advance. Also suggesting that they purchase away in advance, a good amount in advance as well. These fly off the shelves for good reason. This is the Equidry, and the Equidry is about to be my new best friend. You're not going to look sexy in this. You're not going to look flattering in this. You are going to look like a sack slash bin bag. However. This jacket is about to see me through all seasons, probably other than heat waves because it's quite thick and warm. This is the new light version of the Equidry. It's still not 100% light, but that is what makes it so lovely. So you can still move around in this, you can still exercise in this, work in this, whether you, whether you work outside. It's unisex design as well, so you don't have to be a woman to buy this jacket. This is a jacket I recommend for everybody. I'm pretty sure they do junior and children's sizes in these as well. There's a range of different colours. I've personally gone for the all black because again it's such a classic colour. So easy to wear and goes with everything. We have Sherpa lining, okay? We also have Sherpa lining down the arms. Now, I'm sure I'm not alone when I find it incredibly irritating when you buy a jacket or a jumper and they're only fluffy for so far. Like the, the, the arms are never fluffy. I get cold arms. Not anymore. This is also 100% waterproof. I'm five for eight and the and the length comes about that much above my ankles, so for somebody that isn't 5 foot 8 and slightly shorter than I am, it's a full length jacket, the whole of you is covered. However with me if I've got wellies on or longer, longer boots or slash, slash slightly longer than ankle boots, again I'm completely covered from head to foot. You also don't have to be an equestrian to have an echo dry, this is great for dog walking, normal walking if you don't have a dog. Going to school in, going to work in, in torrential weather, which we will get because we always do. In a snowstorm anything. Windy days, storm units, it might come back round again, I'm sure it will because we always have some form of storm beginning with an A to B to E to whatever. <laughs> the biggest thing I recommend investing in this autumn winter, this, okay? Just to repeat once more, you're not going to look your most glamorous or your most sexiest in this. You're going to be warm and you're going to be dry and that's all that matters. Now moving on to some Holland Cooper. And due to Holland Cooper having a slightly higher price point and me only wanting to promote essentials in this video, I've chosen two of my favourite items from Holland Cooper, which I do find for me personally are essential and I wear all of the time. So I'm going to start off with the gilet, which obviously is the perfect transitional piece from autumn to winter or summer to autumn as we're experiencing at the moment. This is the Carl Hester collaboration with Holland Cooper. It's my most worn gilet of all time. It's my favourite gilet of all time. I'm obsessed. I actually bought this in a size up so I could fit a jumper underneath it if I wanted to in the winter. I got this last year and honestly I, I just live in it. I even live in this in the summer. It's the best. So it has a really really thick, uh, what would you call this? Neckband? <laughs> collar, that's the word. <laughs> it has a really nice thick collar which isn't completely attached to the back which is really really nice. There's also, this is really nice and cushiony so it keeps your neck really nice and warm in the winter. This is one of my favourite parts about this jacket and I don't really know why to be honest but obviously you can see the Hester logo down at the spine down the spine of this section. The Holland Cooper logo as well, super chic. This is the most classiest gilet of all time. Honestly, but, but it's also nice and practical so you're not scared to wear it. I think a lot of the Holland Cooper pieces are so beautiful, they're not as practical for everyday use. They're great for lessons, they're great for dressing up and going and watching a show or warming up at a show if you're staying away and you have like a warm up day and then a competition day. However, for everyday practical use, with the price tag as well, they are sometimes a little bit more like, oh, I don't want to wear that because it's so pretty and I know I'm going to get filthy. This is so great. Also, any stains, any, also any marks wipe off instantly. I am an advocate for this because I have the dirtiest horse in the whole of England, near enough. I would actually go into a competition over that, you know. So at the back here, there's working poppers. This is a really, really flattering design on here. It makes you look a little, makes you look a lot more zoop in at the way. And there's the Holland Cooper X Hester design here with the Union Jack flag as well. And turning around to the front of the jacket, there's some faux leather patches on the shoulders here as well, both sides. There's the dressage tour badge here with a gold horse in the middle. So beautiful, again, with a little tiny Union Jack at the bottom here. Amazing pockets. These pockets in this in the gilet really are amazing. I had the iPhone 13 Max of the big one. Fits in there, and it fits in there like a dream. And then on the other side of the gilet, there's the Holland Cooper X Hester badge here with equestrian underneath it. And of course, signature 
God buttons down the centre too. And also as well, before I forget, because I do forget to say some of these things sometimes, um, it's zipped with poppers on the outside as well to fully enclose you after being zipped up, if that makes sense. And now on to what I'm 99.9% .9 sure is the most expensive part of this haul. No, it is. This is the most expensive item in this haul. I think this is 399 It could be 299 99% sure it's 399 It's expensive. But this is a full-length waterproof training jacket. It's 100% waterproof. It's completely long line, so you are covered from head to toe. And how I would describe this is this is the more glamorous version of the Equidry. So if you are competing and you don't want to look like a suck as you're working in, I personally wouldn't care, but I know a lot of people do. Um, and do you know what sometimes it is? Really nice just to be glamorous and just have a bit of a splurge on an item that works, it, it looks beautiful, it's practical. And this is exactly that. I lived in this last winter because I didn't have the Equidry. It washed incredibly, any marks are removed straight away, and I never got wet. So let's have a little bit of a closer look of this item. This is the Holland Cooper, I think it's called the Long Line Training Waterproof Coat, I think that's what it's called. So it's fully padded throughout as well, so it's going to keep you really warm. Even the hood is padded too, and obviously with Holland Cooper, again, a signature gold buttons, it's zipped or pop it pop with with poppers on the outside. But let's move on to the best part of this jacket. So unlike with the Equidry, the Equidry has zips on the side. I think I forgot to mention that. The Equidry has zips on the side. So at the bottom here, the Equidry has zips either side so that you can undo them and ride in them, if that makes sense. So you so you have leg room with open jacket. Don't worry, I'm, I'm making sure I don't set anything on fire. Whereas with this, because it is fully designed for riding as opposed to both a practical and a riding jacket, obviously you can, I have, walked in this dog walk wise in the, in the wet and the rainy weather. Um, but this is more designed as an equestrian riding jacket because you have these elastic loops here which is where your legs go. Obviously with the Equidrive without the zips undone you have less movement of leg whereas with this it's designed to have a lot more of an open bottom to it. Does that make sense? So your legs, so you don't need to open any zips in order to be able to get your legs over the saddle and obviously have enough material to cover your legs to keep them dry without losing any movement. So with these loops, they come off, they're on Velcro and on a popper, which obviously adds extra protection and means that they're not going to come off without you wanting them to. And so how I do this in the winter, even if I forget to do this when I get on, it's really easy to do once you do get on, as long as you don't have a horse that is that is sensitive to noise or the sound of Velcro. Otherwise I'd fully recommend doing this before you get on or anywhere near your horse. Open this up. It opens wide like that. You pop that around, you obviously pop your leg inside or you know put this around your leg. So your leg at the moment is through here. You do it back up and you are ready to ride. Another incredible feature on this jacket is there is a built-in gilet. So there is a two zipper, so basically it's a two-way zip. So you are completely safe and secure inside this jacket. I know it's expensive, I know it's a lot of money. It is one of my essentials and it is something that I did put in this haul because for me personally, I would buy it again. It's a great gift for Christmas, but I do completely understand and please don't hate me for putting such an expensive item in this haul. It just is something that I did feel like I needed to be included because it is such a wonderful jacket. It does just have a bit of a hefty price tag that comes with it. So moving on now to less of an autumn winter essential, but to an equestrian's life, bless you Bridget, my dog just sneezed underneath me, but to an equestrian's life essential, the Black Heart Hybrids. Now if you're not here you would know that I just, I love these. I'm not sponsored by Black Heart, I've done a collaboration on their sports bras, but never their hybrids. So you 100% know that this is my honest opinion, this is what I spend my money on, I need every colour, I still don't own any every colour, I think I've got five now. I even brought my white competition breeches in the hybrid because they're just, I never ride any better than when I'm in these, I just, oh, I just can't. So basically what a hybrid is, it's a mixture between a breech and a legging, so you're getting all of the comfort from the legging, but all of the support and compression from a breech, tie them in together, you get the perfect form of legwear. So there are many brands that have done similar things to the hybrid to the hybrid from Blackheart, but these are my reasons why I prefer the Blackheart above any other brands that I've tried and have been sent before. So, number one, the pockets. Now a lot of pocket, a lot of brands are actually offering pockets like this, but you can get your whole arm in here. They literally, the pocket literally near enough goes down to the knee, which literally near enough goes down to your knee, which is incredible. The four-way stretch. There is no stretch quite like the hybrid stretch and if I'm modelling all day and sometimes I'll bring some hybrids with some different base layers from Black Heart as extra photos so I can post on my Instagram. Obviously being a content creator the majority of my posts are ads but I still need to be continually posting 
post all the time. So I take my extra content for extra posts on days on days that I need to on days that I need to upload, but haven't got a sponsored post incoming. I use Blackheart. After a full day of shooting everything I need to shoot to then shooting my own personal content. The feeling I get the second I put these on, Sammy, who is my photographer and best friend and I, and we do vice versa content for each other, she also will 100% to relate to this. We both go, ah, oh. <laughs> the second these go on. There is just this, this is, I can't even explain the feeling towards these. But again, into different reasonings why I prefer these to other brands. I love the fastening here, okay? A lot of brands offer, a lot of brands offer the hybrid style, but with a legging top. Does that make sense? Just elastic and basically the same as a legging. Whereas obviously with these with the buckle fasteners, these have the same tops to a breech. However, in the super stretchy material, which obviously keeps you compressed in and it just... Do yourself a favour. They're 75 pounds, I think. Way for Black Friday. There's usually always a sale on Black Friday. Um, not that I'm giving tips here, but giving tips. <laughs> Savvy girl up here. And those and all the deals are on because that's when I usually buy mine. <laughs> Next colours I'm going to buy are truffle and black. I've currently got them in the burgundy, so obviously this isn't, as I said, this isn't an autumn winter essential, but because I'm putting it in the autumn winter essential, I did choose to bring out my burgundy colour. I think it's called cranberry online, not sure, it doesn't matter, it's burgundy. Um, but I've got them in the burgundy, navy, a light grey and white, so yeah, I've got four. Um, and I need more! <laughs> Next into a base layer, this is from Maya Delora, and this, and this is my base layer of choice to present to you guys in this haul. So the reason that I've gone for this is it isn't your usual standard base layer, it's got much more of a wintry feel to it and I don't know how or why or how to explain it but I feel like you can, but I feel like it's maybe self-explanatory. It's a lot more of a thicker base layer so okay it doesn't tuck as well as some do, however it does tuck really beautifully and actually really seamlessly, surprisingly, seeming as it is a much more thicker material. You've also got a cuff detail here as well, this isn't the same stretchy material as this is, it's much, it's much more of a supportive layer. It's not going to roll up your sleeve, it's going to stay in place. I feel like I probably basically say that this is a crossover between a polo shirt and a base layer so again you get the benefits from both a little bit more like a hybrid these are so classy and so classic the colors are beautiful so I've got a couple of these but the ones but the one that I've chosen for today's haul is a dark gray that contrasts into a lovely dark navy you see Maya Dolores writing a logo across this elasticated band here and the Maya Dolores logo above a button up collar too. The base layer looks like this. And yeah, as I say, the reason that this is in here is Maya Dolores is a really, really classic and very, very well made and incredible quality incredible qualities or has incredible quality <laughs> in their products. I'm lucky enough to work with them a few times now. Their compression breeches are also amazing. But this for me is their standout product. And now to be inclusive to people that just prefer normal standard classic breeches. So these are very dissimilar to the waterproof ones I showed you earlier, obviously because they're not waterproof. But these are the new breeches from Aztec Diamond Equestrian. I did work with them on these breeches but a good few months ago. I've been testing them and trying them ever since. And I love them. So I've, I have them in black, obviously a complete classic colour, great belt loops, a lovely elasticated waist. It also has a lovely material that isn't too, well, a little bit similar to what I described earlier as the waterproof, like as the waterproof breeches could, could have been. It's the kind of material that you dread putting on. These don't have that actually. These are a really, really lovely stretchy material. They also have air vent panels as well down the sides of the legs, which again is just such a great detail. Obviously then offering more air ventilation and more breathability. There's a zip pocket on this side. Let's have a look. So this in here is enough. So this here in here actually goes really, really far down. This is great storage for keys for phones, especially when hacking. So being zipped keeps it that extra bit more safe and protected. There's a matching zip and matching pocket on the other side as well. Going down to the bottom of the breeches, they have a sock-like detail here. Obviously going to keep everything really lovely and smooth around your ankle. Obviously being seamless as well. There is nothing worse than having items of clothing, whether they be jeans, whether they be jumpers, whether they be jumpers, breeches, leggings, whatever, with the seam here that when you do your zip up, the pain around the ankle, oh my god, please tell me somebody else relates. Oh my god, it's it's almost crippling. So these being seamless and in a sock-like material obviously is going to Obviously it's going to offer comfort and support to your ankle area and keep everything smooth and so the ones I have here are just a knee grip but I'm pretty sure they offer a full grip. Don't completely quote me on that. However, since riding in these, the knee grip does offer enough of a grip. Even though I am a four seat girl, I didn't really notice too much of a difference where there was just enough of grip, where there was just enough grip here. The only thing I would say is as is is personally I do prefer a full grip but I these are just they're very classic they're very understated again if you're not into big logos you're not into with extremely loud and heavy branding 
These are the perfect jumpers. There is a slight, there is a tiny bit of branding here with the AD logo on one of the sides of the pockets. But again, it's so unnoticeable. It's just, it's completely undetectable. Just a really great classic breech, really comfortable to ride in, a lovely stretchy material. And if you do prefer more of a breech as opposed to a high bridge or a legging, these are, in my opinion, these are the perfect classical breeches to go for. And that concludes my video. So obviously I have so much equestrian wear for horse and for rider. And if you would like to see more, please drop some video suggestions down below as to what you would like to see, whether it's a complete favourite, which obviously include more trendy colours and matchy-matchy, whereas today I did want to just keep it timeless and classic and my absolute pinpointed favourites. That's my dog snoring below if you can hear any bizarre noises. Obviously items that are going to last year upon year. Everything will be linked in the description the description box down below if you are looking to purchase anything. This isn't a sponsored video, they, they aren't affiliate links, but if you are putting a Christmas list together wanting to treat yourself to something new this autumn winter, or if you're in desperate need of something new and something from this haul has picked your mind and you want to go towards it, the description box down below has everything I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know sometimes it can be a little bit controversial putting items in that you've been gifted or have worked on and sponsored by etc. But I promise you today was my complete honest opinion. This, and as I said a hundred times, this isn't a sponsored video. I'm not being paid to create this video. This is just completely off my own back showing you guys my favourite item from my favourite equestrian brand. And again, not to be controversial, with obviously different price points in this video too, but again, it's just my personal opinion and things that I actually do feel like are worth it because there's no point buying things that don't work and aren't worth your money and then you need to buy more in the long run if that makes sense. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.